Hi, today I'm going to declutter my nail polishes. It has been about one and a half years since I decluttered my nail polishes. And some of them I don't use anymore, so I thought it's slowly time to declutter them again. And recently I bought few more new nail polishes after almost two years. And I really wanted to show them to you guys before I start to use them. I will swatch those polishes later when my nails are a little bit more grown because I've been to a violin camp recently so I had to cut all my nails short even uh, right side because I had to play pizzicato <laughs> so it will take certain time to grow back so I have my nail polishes there and I also have my laptop here that I can go through my list from old one to new one. So let's have a look. So this is how they look like now. Basically since last declutter only this SC top coat is added, which I showed one time in my empties video. Although this top coat is actually no longer usable, I just kept them because those three are belong together and I thought I will discard them all together. Now I will look at the list. So which one is the oldest one? That is pink diamond from Essie. That is this one. If you remember, I had hard time to decide this at that time. But at the end, I hardly used this. So it's more or less same amount left. This one I bought in 2016, so it's not really old. So I think this time I can really get rid of this. And the next one is Exotic Liras, also from Essie, which I bought in 2017. This one I also hardly used since my last declutter. Somehow I don't reach to cream polishes anymore. I find it just boring without sparkle in it. So... I think I will finally discard this as well. And next comes those 10 polishes. As I mentioned in some other videos, I collected those 10 polishes to post on my Instagram. And I kept them new quite a long time <laughs> until I finally started to use them. As I mentioned in my nail polish collection tag video, they have some sort of sentimental value for me. So I'm not ready to get rid of them yet, although I don't use all of them. So I probably won't keep them forever, but I also don't want to force myself to get rid of some of them because I really like them as a whole. But now I've been using this one and a half years longer. So I will just go through them and give you my review. So the first one is You Are a Little Firecracker from Colors by Laro. This is really nice color, but the problem of those two polishes from Colors by Laro was they were staining my nails. So it was quite a shame. They have beautiful colors, but whenever I use this, I'm left with stained nails. So I'm somehow scared to use them. So this one is violet color. It's called Hoon is Love. 
I also made a few videos wearing this polish. But unfortunately, this is also staining my nails. And the next one is 2018 from Painted Polish. This one I used quite a lot. But somehow I was actually expecting pink color. But this was pretty much violet, a light violet. So I was a little bit disappointed. So whenever I apply this, I was thinking, oh, this one looks really like violet. But it really has nice holographic sparkle. And the next one is also from Painted Polish. This one is called Stamped in Blush. Actually a stamping polish. I told you guys last time I'm going to try to stamp with this. But somehow stamping is pretty much hassle and I just did a few times and not anymore. When I apply this alone, this one is similar to this 2018, which I just showed you. This is pretty much violet color because I actually wanted to have pink, just light violet. If I like the color, I would probably have used as a one coat of polish, but I somehow hardly used it. And this one is what I'm wearing today as well, which I really love and almost nothing left. I even placed nail polish thinner to it <laughs> because at the end it became quite thick. This is called Blush Babe, also from Painted Polish. And this one has most beautiful nude color. I also mentioned in my tech video, this is my go-to polish because you can just apply it quickly. You don't even need to correct the cutic line. And in summer, I always have problem with my toenails <laughs> because I never wear different colors for toenails and fingernails. And I don't change my toenail color every week. Once it's applied, I can keep it at least for one month. And last summer I bought a sander, which this color fits quite nicely. So I was using it for more or less whole summer. Unfortunately, they don't make this anymore, so I can't buy it. But I bought something similar, so I will show it at the end. And this is Winter's Twilight, also from Painted Polish. I think I really don't like to wear blue or green polishes. Whenever I apply this, it's just not flattering on my skin color. So last time I also got rid of some green polishes, but this one it's really beautiful color, but it just <laughs> doesn't look pretty on my hands. And this is another stamping polish, the black one from Painted Polish. It's called Midnight Mischief. This is really great polish. It's just one quarter. So if you need a uh, black polish. I can really recommend this. But I hardly used it same as the other stamping polish because I never stamp. And also because I don't do it often 
when I do it one time, the result is not always satisfying. So, still almost full. And the next one is from Sag Colors. This one is called Reflector. Started to separate a little bit. But uh, it's still good to use when I shake it a little bit. This is really shiny metallic polish. I really love it because it's um, gold but not really yellow. So almost like platinum color. So I really like this. It's just a little bit tricky to remove afterwards because it's a sort of glitter polish. And this one is Rioja from Silk Colors. I really like this color, but I wish it was a little bit lighter than this because it's pretty much dark red color that looked a little bit different when I looked swatch photos or swatch videos. So when I had it, I was a little bit disappointed as well. But still, I used it quite often. And this one is Dusky Skies from Silk Colors as well. When I bought it, I thought this is violet color. Although it looks like violet on the bottle, actually it is a blue color with pink shimmer. So once you wear it, it looks more like blue than violet. As I don't wear blue or green color often, so I also didn't wear this very often. It's a really pretty color though. It just doesn't match to my skin color. So, those 10 polishes are which I bought in 2018. Then what's next? And I bought one more polish in 2018. This one is Mademoiselle from Essie. As you can see, almost nothing left. I really love this color. This one is almost transparent, as if you are not wearing any polish. Just make your nails beautiful. But as I said recently, I'm more towards to holographic polishes with sparkle in it. So I was not reaching for this very often. This one is anyway <laughs> quite empty, so I think I can now discard it. And next ones are this uh, set of three. They are from Zoya. So first one is base coat, anchor. and top coat armor and this fast drying drops this top coat which i already showed in my empties video this one i can't use anymore because it's just a little left on very thick and this fast drops Okay, I almost used it up, but I don't really need this. And I didn't have any feeling that this make my nail drying faster. So I'll just get rid of this as well. And this base coat I can still use, but it's also very old. I bought it in the beginning of 2019. I actually bought a new bottle of this, so this one I will get rid of. So these three now I can discard all together. 
And next one I bought is Forever Yummy from SC. As I mentioned in my last video, I bought it to paint under my matter, which I really loved. But I didn't have matter for a long time. So I didn't really need this. I actually bought a new matter, which I will show you in a minute. So I actually don't really need this. Although this is also a nice red color. This is again without any sparkle. Just cream polish, which I don't reach anymore. But this one is still quite a lot left. It's still quite good to use. I think I can find someone who can enjoy this now. The next ones are these two TLC polishes from SC. This one is called Minimally Modest. And I really didn't like the color. So I forced myself to use it as a base coat. That was the reason this small base coat from Anka is still quite a lot left. But I think that was a little bit stupid. I didn't need to force myself to use up this. I could have given it immediately to someone else. Then this is another TLC polish. This is called Shears to You. Although I'm also not completely happy about this pearl effect. I used it quite a lot. As you can see, almost nothing left. So I can now get rid of this. And most recent addition to my polish was this SC top coat, which I also almost used up. I can't really use this anymore. But this one was a little bit strange. Although this is not my first bottle, and I knew this has some pulling effect. Once you apply this, this polish is pulling together which makes even surface. But in this case, it was pulling it so much. Maybe you can see from this nail, I always paint the edge, but this is pulling so strongly together. I just painted this nail yesterday, but the edge is already free. <laughs> so I was really not happy about this this time. Something has been changed. So this one I really can't recommend to anyone. So only my 10 polishes from 2018 left. Now I will show you the new polishes. Firstly, I bought the soya base coat and top coat again. This time it's full size. If you compare, this was the mini size and this is full size. Oh, I see they also have different brush. This new one has transparent one and this one was black one. As I got rid of all my TLC polishes, now I can solely use this one as my base coat. And this is top coat. For me, it took long time to find non-toxic top coat and base coat. I also use their nail polish removal, which I'm really happy about. So, I can't wait to use them for my next manicure. 
And now the most exciting part. I bought three new polishes from Suck Colors. They are still brand new. If you remember from my last declutter video, I discarded my beloved Matter from Suck Colors. At the time I said, I can discard it because I can still buy it. But it took so long. <laughs> I finally bought it because they are not really easy to get. And I was also thinking I have two red polishes. Okay, I also had some Etsy ones, so I can't buy another red one. But somehow I can never forget this. I actually kept my old bottle just to compare the color. I think they are really exactly the same. So I'm really happy to have this again. Then I was also searching for a replacement for this blush babe, this holographic nude color. And from Sock, they have new collection, which is called Facets Collection from 2021. And this one looked really similar. So if I hold them next to each other, Although I haven't tried it yet from the bottle, it looks quite similar, don't you think? And in this facets collection, they also had nice other shades as well. So I actually contact Silk Colors if I can have all six of them that I can just swatch. But they said no. So I just bought only this bottle. Unfortunately, the cap is not black in this collection. It's cream color. So it doesn't really fit to other polishes from Silk. I find it quite shame. I even asked them if I can get only the cap in black. But they also said no. And from this online shop where I ordered this silk colors polishes, the postage would have been same up to three bottles. When it's more than three, then I have to pay more. So I was thinking I'd love to order one more shade. And this is what I selected. Because I actually realized the polishes which I mostly wear are red or nude or pink and I really love red color and this one is called ruby if you can see carefully this one has quite chunky holographic particles so I thought it would be quite fun to wear if you compared it with matter this matter has quite fine sparkle compared to this ruby. So I really wanted to try this as well. So now I have to think how I want to display them. So now they look a little bit empty. <laughs> so maybe I will place them like this. This two, three, and three sock colors are over each other. They are a little bit divided according to the brand. I think they look fine like this. I just need to think about how to decorate <laughs> this empty space. So that was it for today. It was such a hot day that I had to 
put my hair in ponytail while I was recording the declutter. Although now it looks a little bit empty. <laughs> Those are all the polishes which I really love. So I feel quite elevated when I see them, when I see this collection now. So now I'm really happy how they look like. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I will see you in my next video. Bye!